Hi beauties, this is Sam from Instant Beauty. Uh, so I just wanted to film a video about uh, fusion extensions and um, the stigma they have. They're so damaging, um, you know, they ripped out my hair, they made, they, I had to chop off all my hair after I took them out, uh, blah 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 blah. Okay, yes, fusions can be damaging 100%. Uh, but really though, if the steps are taken um, for the application process as well as the aftercare process, they're one of the best methods of extensions out there. Um, they've been around for a very long time. The advancements in the glue have um, surpassed what they used to be, definitely. Um, when I first started doing this even from, from now, and I remember my, um, my father was actually a hair uh, extension extensionist I guess and uh, he, he was the one who taught me um, and I remember fusions being a ridiculous application process taking like eight hours and then the glue was like dark so even blondes would have like black glue it was a big I mean it was still ideal for them at the time but now I mean now they're fantastic so I just wanted to explain um, maybe the top reasons why fusions can be damaging um, and in this video, hopefully, you can kind of learn from the reasons why they might be damaged and avoid avoid doing any of these things, so then that way you can have beautiful fusion extensions. So fusion uh, damage can occur during application. So for example, if the fusion extension, which is roughly about um, 0.5 to 1 gram in thickness um, in weight, uh, is applied to hair that is too thin, you can cause some breakage because the fusion is heavier than your own hair. Um, so obviously what you want to do is, you know, when you make sure that your extension uh, technician is applying the extensions, you take notice, pay attention because you are paying for the service. So it's very important to watch. Make sure that she's grabbing enough of your own hair to weigh out the balance and make sure that you don't cause any damage with application. Fusion extensions can also be damaging um, during application if, for example, your extension technician is not paying attention and she's applying too much heat uh, with the fusion wand onto your actual hair. That is unnecessary. It only takes a couple of seconds. So make sure, again, if that is happening, um, that you say something or, uh, you know, don't go to her again if <laughs> that's what she does. Another thing that could go wrong during application is if your extension technician is not using a heat protector. Um, heat protector. So basically, it's a little piece of plastic that singles out the uh, strands of hair that you actually want to apply the extension to, and it's placed like this. So then that way, that hair is singled out, and she's not able to touch, like, uh, have the glue touch anywhere else and any other strands. And what this does is keeps everything very neat and tidy and uh, avoids any little hairs coming in from other places that can cause you pain, can cause breakage. Um, so that is definitely a huge thing that you have to watch out for. And again, if she's not using it, please say something uh, or find someone else. So um, the next stage of care for fusion extensions uh, is obviously aftercare when you come home. Um, so it's a big part of it because extensions can be can stay on for a very long time. So if you, you know, start off taking great care of them, don't stop halfway through because um, the especially the latter half of keeping them in definitely can can uh, damage can occur during that time. As the extensions grow out, you want to make sure you're always combing them. Uh, you want to make sure that you're washing and drying correctly using the proper products. Um, just don't ignore the, uh, the aftercare instructions. And hopefully if you've gone to a very good extension place, they've given you some aftercare instructions that you can take home with you and, uh, and you know, follow all of those steps. Also, um, you know, if, if in case that doesn't happen, do further research on your own because, you know, you don't want your hair to get damaged and you want to make sure that you're doing everything correctly at home. Um, I have plenty of videos out there about uh, aftercare for fusion, so feel free to check those out if you don't know what to do. Uh, another thing that can cause damage with fusions is if the hair, is, the hair extensions themselves are not um, of very good quality because if they tangle and not easily, you're going to have a very hard time trying to take care of them, trying to brush through them, 
um, trying to style them, etc. It's going to be, it's going to give you a much harder time and you know you might give up halfway through and uh, you won't get your money's worth and you might incur some damage on your own natural hair. So another thing that can be very damaging uh, for the fusion extensions is to keep them in too long. We rec recommend up to six months max, like even five months max, because uh, as your hair grows out, the fusion grows with it. So, you know, it really does depend on how um, long it takes for your hair to grow. So we give a bit of a range. But what I like to tell my clients is if you come every three months to change your extensions, uh, you'll have very minimal damage done to your natural hair because, um, you know, you just haven't had given your extensions a chance to grow out so much that they, you know, tangle around each other and get matted at the top. So if you can change them more frequently, it's definitely a better, uh, better idea and you will have less damage done to your own hair. So finally, um, the last thing that could go wrong with fusion extensions and cause damage is if you get them removed um, by somebody who either isn't a professional or you try to do it yourself uh, or the person's in a rush and they don't take the enough, enough time to really dissolve the glue with the proper remover. Um, because if you know you can take them out really quickly, you can break your hair, uh, and sometimes they even cut it out. It's really it's important to do your research for the removal process, just as much as it is for the application process. So those those um, are two really important things. Do your research, um, find someone good who knows how to apply them correctly and remove them correctly. Okay beauties, so that's about it for this video. So if you, um, you know, are interested in fusion extensions, don't get turned off because yes, damage can occur in many different ways, but if all of those things are avoided, they can be the best extensions you'll ever have. They will still stay in the longest. They are the most hidden, um, so you know, they won't be noticeable. And, uh, and you'll get the beautiful natural look that you want. So just uh, try to stay away from all the damaging things that you could do. And uh, we'll see you in another video. <laughs> Bye, guys.